I am Jörg Leni. I'm a designer and artist from Switzerland and I'm here at the SF MoMA where I've been uh, installing uh, Victor, a drawing machine that I've created. It's a machine that is computer controlled and it makes large-scale wall drawings with chalk. I wanted to start making my own printing devices and so it, um, the first one was Hector a spray paint output device, as I call it. It's similar to Victor, what you see now at the SF MoMA. The machine is trying to make this drawing as perfectly as it can, but then it's struggling with gravity and mechanical constraints, instabilities, it's fragile. It's doing something that we're doing in a way that we can relate to, like we can see it holding the pen, pen and moving it. It's something that people can connect to, and I think it adds to the aesthetic of the outcome. And I wasn't fully aware of all the potential when I built this machine, but then when it finally came to life, uh, we called it the Frankenstein moment because it was like, you know, you're having this idea of what you're making and then eventually it comes to life and it behaves differently, it has a different character. So with Victor, just because it's using chalk on a chalkboard, you naturally find yourself in this situation that resembles a lecture. And then later on, this idea turned into this other idea of nonverbal lectures, where the machine is just illustrating a topic and it's going, it's going through different drawings that then together form a sort of a, a narrative. So at the SF MoMA, the topic is called a taxonomy of communication. And uh, the topic is very broadly how we communicate, how we print, how we write, how we uh, transmit information, but also how we read or how we interface or interact with the technology and the tools that do so. so it's not just talking about technology and devices, it's talking about language and it's talking about alphabets. It's talking about, you know, reading, how we read and um, how we transmit information. If we don't have technology, we do, we make smoke signals. I mean, that's also technology. I try to then find things that are working as a story, but also are visually appealing. And on each wall, there's like five to six or seven drawings of, um, you know, of these little stories. One I really like is you see two hands, and then on each finger is written the letters that this finger is pressing on a ten-finger keyboard. So this is actually a mnemonic chart for you to learn how to type on a, on a typewriter. It talks about the hands using a machine, but it talks about the human being learning to interface with this machine. So this one simple drawing pulls in so many things. And that's a perfect example for me. It's seeing technology as a language and a vocabulary rather than an infrastructure that allows corporations to dictate our behavior. Instead of just taking the existing tools, you should also be able to make your own.